Thank you so much for your patience. <laughs> I'm uh, visiting a friend in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and my phone is almost dead because we've been out playing and having a lovely lunch. And so I'm using her iPad and um, it took me a minute to figure out how to do a live. I haven't done a live in a while. So I'm really happy to be here with you. <laughs> if you're here right now, go ahead and send me a wave, drop a um, emoji in the comments. <sighs> I am so grateful to get to be with you today. We're gonna spend about 15 to 20 minutes just taking some time, if you've got the time, to do some practice, to come home to this moment, to our bodies, to our breath, and it'll be a very gentle practice. I sure do need it, <laughs> um, and I hope you do too. Stay for a little while, stay for a long time. I've never guided a practice on a live, so we'll see how it goes. That might mean that I um, am talking a little bit more than usual because not everybody showing up knows what's happening. Uh, yeah, oh my gosh, look at all of you. Welcome. It's so good to see so many of you that I know and love. Um, so just as we get started, I'd love to see if you feel like commenting what's going on in your present moment world. What are you experiencing today? How are you experiencing this moment? You could put a word to describe it, put many words, put an emoji. And um, yeah, how are you doing right here, right now? I know sometimes it's hard to connect on social media in these genuine ways. And if there is a way, I will find it. <laughs> Let's just all take a moment as we're arriving here together to place a hand on the heart or the a belly, hand on the heart or the belly. Just take a few full breaths, saying hello to this moment together. And if it doesn't feel good, to offer a hand here on the body. Maybe just take a few full breaths, saying hello to this fresh moment together. <sighs> Love seeing your comments come in. Yeah. So we'll just ground. We're going to just ground today. And part of why I'm bringing in this practice is that, um, I've been having a heck of a time trying to describe to y'all what my program body of work is. And so instead we're just gonna do it. <laughs> many of you are coaches and therapists. And so what we do is we practice many, many things together. And one of the things we do is we ground. So if you can find your feet wherever they are, you do not have to do this practice in any particular way, make it work for you. And just notice how your feet are feeling today. You can even look down at them, wiggle your toes. I'm just saying hello to our bodies. We can so often be up in our heads. And then just have a few breaths here, feeling our feet together. There's so many folks from all over the world right here, actually. <laughs> And then I'll have you press a little bit with your feet into the ground. So maybe on your inhale, you press just a little bit as though you could press 5%. And on the exhale, release. Mm. Yeah, it's so good to be here with you, Carol. So good to see you again, Elle. Welcome to everyone who's here. And so you might begin to press a little bit more with your feet. And if you're sitting cross-legged, that's okay too. Just make this your own, just play with it. See if you can bring some play into it. And as you press just a little bit more, you might notice you can feel more of your legs, even all the way up into your hips. And we'll keep pressing all the way on the inhale. Releasing on the exhale, letting the breath be as easy as possible today. And 
And on your next inhale, notice where you feel your breath most in your body. Where does it flow to most easily when you inhale? And we're going for ease, inviting ease in, in this moment. So just take a little inventory as you're pressing your feet into the ground and becoming more aware of your breath. Where's your mind? Where's your heart? Maybe it's here, maybe it's far away. No matter where it is, it's not a problem. Now you can bring that pressing of your feet and your leg even further up your body. You might notice my body's rocking a little bit. See what happens in your body. Maybe you can feel this press with each inhale. Come all the way into your sacrum, your seat, your lower belly. And if the pressing isn't working for you, you can just focus on your breath. It's so good to see so many folks showing up. And if you're still arriving as we're here, pressing the feet on each inhale, releasing on each exhale, it might feel good to take a moment to give yourself a little look around to notice what's here in this present moment. We can be present in so many ways with all of our senses. We'll do about three more breaths just like this, pressing on each inhale, releasing on each exhale. Notice if you can feel more of your feet and legs or less. And there's no gold star here. There's no goal of feeling more or less. It's all just information. And then if it feels okay to you, you can take your hands and rest them on the tops of your legs or your thighs. And take a moment and feel the contact between your hands and your legs. And if it's hard to feel sensation as it is for many people, you can just give them a little tap. You can press it into them a bit, just saying hello to the tops of your legs. Or you can give them some squeezes. Play with all three of those options and see if any of those feels supportive for you in this moment or for coming into just connecting with the body right here and right now together. So the first option is tap. And the second one is just some pressure down the legs. And the third is some squeezes. And then you can even let me know in the chat which one is feeling supportive for you today, if any. And we'll stay with that for about 10 breaths here. And as our presence deepens, maybe our contact changes. Maybe we're learning that felt pleasant and now it feels unpleasant. <laughs> and now we can shift how we're in touch, literally. <laughs> Yeah, we have all these options of how we can listen to what's happening in our bodies in our present moment and how we have choice based on what we're learning as we tune in. And if you are a 
coach, a therapist, a mentor, anyone that works with others, we can do that as we're connecting with others too. We're here, we're present, we get information, and we know where to go next. Yeah, Carol's squeezes are feeling super good, creating a buzzing sensation down your legs. Yes. I've noticed that sitting on my own tops of my legs, just a gentle press all the way down is feeling really grounding today. And maybe in five minutes, it would be something else. And so we'll take just a few more breaths together Noticing what's happening here in our legs. And we can label whatever it is that we're experiencing, pleasant, unpleasant, neither. And just welcome that experience, whatever it is. We don't need to make it try to be in any certain way. Good to see so many of you. Yeah, so give the legs just one last squeeze or press with this breath. And then we'll sit in relative stillness for a couple breaths. Just notice being here, connecting with the base of our bodies for the last few minutes. What's here? And I say relative stillness because not all of us like to be perfectly still. Some of our bodies want to move and shift to be able to stay more present. So you can just notice what happens in your body and see what your body wants. After you've had those few full breaths, just tuning in, you might write in the chat there what's present now. It could be anything. Again, pleasant, unpleasant, neither. When things feel unpleasant, we can ask ourselves, can I just let this be okay in this moment? Okay, we don't have to make it go away. We don't have to try to make it different. And we're just welcoming what is, every part. And then we'll bring our hands. If it feels comfortable to offer touch, if not, you can literally just follow each breath in and out and we can be here together. And if it feels okay, we're gonna do just what we did with our legs now with our arms, giving them some squeezes here. We'll start and just notice how that feels. Strong squeeze, light squeeze. Maybe fast squeezes, maybe slow. See what happens with your breath as you begin just giving yourself these little squeezes here. Maybe the left arm in front feels better than the right. You can try it out either way. And if squeezes don't feel good, you can just try doing some sweeps. or pet. Play with it. See what feels fun, enlivening, soothing, <laughs> whatever you need in this moment, right here, right now. I think my body likes the squeezes today. <sighs> Sounding, sighing, exhales are great. Yawns are great. Yeah. 
Same, Katie. Squeezes, I'm guessing that's what you're saying there. We'll do this for about five more breaths together. Again, we can observe through the lens of pleasant, unpleasant, or neither. And then we can ask ourselves, can we just let this be okay? Whatever it is, can we welcome whatever the sensations, emotions, and thoughts are right here and right now? And these are not fluffy practices. When we slow down, it can bring things up. When we're here in a group together, it can bring things up. When we're being guided, stuff comes up. And we can grow our capacity for whatever it is together. So just know if you're feeling anything, it's normal, it's welcome. I notice as I'm slowing down, I'm noticing some softness, but also a little grief had a hard conversation earlier. There's space for it all. And then the last thing we'll do here is take your right hand, put it under your left armpit, wrap that right arm around, nope, that's your left, left arm around to your right side. Give that a little squeeze. This is intended to help the vagal nerve come online. It regulates our heartbeat, our breath. It ultimately communicates to us if we're safe here in this present moment. You can feel how tight you want that squeeze to be. It can be loose or tight, firm or soft. And we'll take about five breaths right here. And let's just see what happens together, body, heart, and mind. You can notice your heartbeat if you can feel it. Feel the breath move in and out. And then for the next three breaths before we end today, you can release that and let's just see if there's anything in our bodies, our hearts, our minds that feel more soothed or settled or grounded, supported. We can notice what else is here too, but sometimes it's good to also notice what's feeling supported. so good to be here with you all. Thank you so much for coming. I've been really mostly off work for the last two months, which has been awesome. But it is always just so sweet to get to be back here with you all in whatever capacity, whether it's right here on Instagram or Facebook or in one of my programs or courses or one-on-one. -on -one. I, I love getting to see so many familiar faces. I hope this practice supports you to go out into the day before we end, if you'd like to share one thing that felt supportive today that you'd like to take with you, you're so welcome to put that in the chat. Um, I'm committed to doing a whole bunch of lives this month, both here and on Facebook. Like I said in the beginning, um, I've been talking a lot about my program, Body of Work, which we've been calling Embodied Coaching Experience for the last many years. And um, 
well, I love writing about it and typing about it. I wanted to kind of just show up and be with you more than anything because that's really what we do together. And just a whole bunch of coaches, therapists, and other care providers getting regulated together so that we can do our best work in the world. And so those who come get supported by us can feel the support that we already have in us and around us. Um, so if you don't know when those times are, I know they're listed somewhere. I'm totally blanking on it. You can find them. They're in a post on Instagram, the most recent one. They're a little bit random just to meet the needs of folks all over the world. Yeah. Thank you so much. I hope you go off into your day feeling a little bit more connected and we will see you again soon.